Intercession is standing in the gap. It's standing between God and man and crying out for the needs of that person or people group that we are praying for by the Holy Spirit. And it is going up to the altar of incense in heaven. So the intercession is actually our incense, which is poured out in the heavenlies. And we see in Revelation 8, 3 to 4, there's the angel at the altar of incense, and he was given much incense, which he should offer with the sacred prayers upon the golden altar. That's the, our intercession, our prayers of intercession. As they are offered up, then later they are, they are poured out upon the earth, and God answers those prayers as they are in the will of the Holy Spirit. Firstly is identification or replacement. This is putting ourselves in the shoes of those people we're interceding for. Ezekiel sat where they sat. He sat where the those in exile in Babylon sat so he could identify with them, feel like they felt. And that's what we do in intercession. Secondly is identification or realization. This is seeing the people we're interceding for through God's eyes, looking through his glasses. As Daniel prayed, he said, your people who are called by your name, even though they were sinners, but he was reminding them of the covenant promises of who they were in God. Thirdly is identification or repentance. This is repenting on behalf of those that we are praying for, is carrying their burdens, is carrying the burdens of their sin and crying, forgive us, for we have sinned. So a major part of the prayer altar is interceding on behalf of those the Holy Spirit has led us to intercede for, and that is bearing their burdens, repenting on their behalf. Here it says that Nehemiah was praying day and night for the people of Israel, confessing their sins, say, we Israelites, including myself, my father's house, we have committed against you, we have acted very wickedly towards you. So he was saying, forgive us, for we have sinned. Daniel prays like this, you see other prophets pray like this, this is identification or repentance. This is very powerful as we do this. We do this till we come to the gain place of intercession. That's the place of authority. Like Reese Howell said, that intercession is more than the Spirit sharing his groanings with us and living a life of sacrifice for the world through us. It is the Spirit gaining his ends of abundant grace. If the intercessor knows identification and agony, he also knows authority. It is the law of the corn and the wheat and the harvest. If it dies, it brings forth much fruit. Intercession is not substitution for sin. There has only ever been one substitute for the world of sinners, Jesus, the Son of God. But intercession so identifies the intercessor, intercessor with the sufferer that it gives him a prevailing place with God. He moves God. He even causes him to change his mind.